Hey guys, Ranch Boss here. It's summertime and this is our first special session for hog control. And it's uh, about noontime and we've already shot, oh, about 15 hogs since breakfast. So that means in the last few hours. And uh, I've got a hog behind me that's about a 300 pound Russian boar with some big old teeth in it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I'm driving and trying to film at the same time and not have a wreck. So, uh, but there's been several shot this morning that are in the two to 300 pound range. We've seen hundreds of hogs this morning already, and uh, it's gonna be that way all summer long. So if you guys have not bought a hunt yet, you need to get online, buy a hunt. It's gonna be a fabulous hunt, and you guys are gonna go home with some good meat. So as the day progresses, I'll be sending some more videos attaching to this so you guys can see how our day's going. I've already missed about the last dozen hogs uh, on video. It's just happening so fast. I was on one end of the ranch and they got shot on the other end of the ranch and uh, our butchers are so fast. They were already spliced, diced, and put away by the time I got up, uh, up there. So um, we're going to pick up another one right now. But I'll keep you with me the rest of the day. Burn from San Antonio. Uh, he waited till he uh, was over 40 years old <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, to come hog hunting for the first time. And he gets a 303 pound uh, Russian boar. That's a good hog there, Vern. Uh, we're gonna get it uh, cut up for you and uh, are we gonna shoulder mount that thing for you? Yes, sir. All right, well, you're gonna enjoy that and uh, Pablo Pigacasa will be doing the work for you and he'll have it to you in just a couple of months. Good job. There are a couple of hogs right here that are a good 200 pounder. Let's see how close I can get to these hogs. Let you guys see what's out here in these woods. Gotta be quiet. There they go. Those are a couple of 200 pound hogs running through the woods. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you an update on how our first special summer session for hog control is going. We're pretty much wrapping up the end of day two and it's kind of been a mixed bag of good news, bad news. So let me share the good news with you first. All the guys that were here shot all the hogs that they wanted to carry out. And we had a real mixed bag of situations. We had two guys that were down here on a job. They live in Indiana and they tried to squeeze this hunt in before they went home to mama. And uh, so they they barely hunted uh, one, one or two sessions out of six sessions. So they went home with a hog apiece. So that was a good news for them. That's all they could uh, have time for on a three day hunt. And then I have some other guys that uh, live in San Antonio, which is 75 miles up the road. And today is Sunday and they have to be on duty at 7 a.m. in the morning in their jobs. So they're missing two, one, two, three. They're missing half the hunt, but they're going home with seven hogs. So they're happy. And then I've got a couple guys that are at the army base there in San Antonio that are here this weekend. And they says, Paul, we've seen 100 hogs, but we live in a barracks. We can't carry all this meat back to camp, uh, to the military base with us. So they've shot a couple hogs a piece. They're happy. So that's all the good news. Now here's the bad news. The ranch did not get even, even half the hogs, not even a third of the hogs I, that I was hoping that we would get shot this weekend on our first special summer session. They are running all over the place, but as you can tell by this brush that we're riding through, they're hiding in this stuff, they're hard to find, and I was really hoping we'd have shot 50 hogs this weekend, and uh, we ended up with just a small number because of the different situations. So the hog population continues to be extremely high. We have our next special summer session 
that will be starting July 23rd for a three-day hunt, and then we have another session starting the very next day, July 24th, for a three-day hunt. And then in August, it's every other weekend that we're available. You can start either on a Thursday or a Friday in August for a three-day hunt. So go to my calendar, see what's available. Buy yourself a hunt, and hey guys, this is South Texas, okay, but we are not having a hot summer like some of the years. We've had a lot of rain, and that's why the stuff out here is so green and thick, and it's kept the temperatures about 10 degrees below, 10 or 15 degrees below what we're used to. So you guys go ahead and pick you up a hunt. We're running some specials pretty much throughout the summer. Give you a chance to come out here and shoot unlimited hogs, unlimited sizes, and you guys will have an absolute blast. So come on out help us shoot a few hogs and uh, I'll be back uh, August or July 23rd and I'll give you guys another update but in the meantime you guys have a good summer and we'll talk to y'all soon